here welcome back to my channel i'm Olay. go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any uploads today's review is on sensational cloud nine swiss lace wig it's part of the what lace collection and as everyone knows what lace is very popular here on youtube that's one of the reasons why i wanted to try it it's in the style reina and in the color money piece blonde as you see here my girl is already braided down so i'm gonna go ahead and apply that cap you can use any color cap of your preference. The best one, if I would say, is close is to get one that's close to your skin complexion or black. So here I apply the cap and I'm about to take the unit fresh out of the pack. If I had to give a word for this unit, it would have to be just completely gorgeous. From the curl pattern to the color, the wig was on point. Sensational did a great job. Y'all could just tell by my face, like, I was so excited about this color. It was just gorgeous. And the length, yes. Yes, sensational. Y'all did great. She purchased this unit from shophairwigs.com for $51. Again, y'all, she got a whole 13 by 6 inch lace front wig for $51. You just can't beat it. And so I was basically showing y'all the cap construction. This wig did come with three combs, two on each side, one in the back with adjustable straps. Not to mention, again, this is a 13 by 6 lace frontal wig. So you can do a lot of different styles with this. Half up, half down, middle part, side part, whatever it is of your choice. So basically, I'm switching out the caps because the black cap was just going to look 10 times better, especially once I applied the makeup to the cap. So I'm just going to switch that out and then I'm going to reapply the wig and adjust it to her liking. And wow, just look at that curl pattern, y'all. I love everything about it. It is gorgeous. It is so gorgeous. I definitely enjoyed doing this review on this wig because I was so in love and amazed about the tech, like with the texture of the hair, um, the color, the feel, the length. I didn't have too many cons, even though you know it's synthetic hair, so it's gonna be something. It is curly hair, so keep in mind. It is going to freeze the more that you play with it, the more that you comb through it. You did get some tangles here and there, but besides that, it was nothing that I really have to complain about with this unit. Not even where shedding is concerned. I probably got a few strands here and there as I cut off the lace and stuff. But other than that, this was a like go-to. She is definitely one to add part of your collection. So as you see here, I'm kind of just finger waving the combs out coming out some of the ways with my fingers using a wide tooth comb guys if you have curly hair and it's a synthetic unit or curly hair period whether it's human or synthetic get you a wide tooth comb to detangle and then get you a tighter comb once you you know to define the curl even more so here i'm just adjusting it she wanted a side part a deep side part to be exact i'm kind of just um curling the combs out again comb the curls out from the end to the root so from the bottom of the hair going up to the root that's the best way to comb out your curls and i didn't want to comb it out too too much because she still wanted she didn't want it too big but she just kind of wanted me to kind of loosen up the curl just a little bit and y'all look at it like the color is gorgeous already the color is so gorgeous she was definitely trying to peek when I wasn't looking at certain times even when I was looking she was trying to pee so she stood up here so I can kind of see like the length and look at it guys my friend is way taller than me if you can't tell and it is past her booty like she got inches this had to be 26 28 inches possibly even 30 and she was already feeling it so I turned her around because I could tell that she wasn't in good viewing for you guys I'm sorry about that and look at there you can put this hair in a half up half down any kind of size any kind of parts middle part like it's the sky is the limit you can braid it you can do whatever is worth whatever you decide 
So here she wanted to try on another blonde wig just to see how this color looks on her. So she went ahead. And as y'all can see, she was already feeling this wig as well. But ma'am, this wig was mine, so she definitely was not getting it. Like, she was showing people on the phone that she was wig. She was like, yeah, who wig? This wig look good. I was like, girl, I'm going to snatch this off your head. You just don't know. But it did look good. It really did. But back to Miss Raina. So, I had started to apply some of the makeup just to kind of give me you know a guideline but I'm actually gonna do it here now she was just wearing she wanted this wig to be where she could wear it temporarily she didn't want like a long wear out of this wig she wanted to be able to take it off at night so I'm not gonna do the whole uh, ball head cap method because that's not what she wanted And here, as you see, I'm just applying the makeup. It is her foundation. So, when you apply your makeup, you really need to get you a foundation that's close to your skin tone. If not one shade lighter, a tad bit lighter. Don't do no, like, real, real light because it's just not going to look realistic at all. And I do apologize for being all in the view. I'm so sorry about that. So, y'all please forgive me. Look at that, y'all. This is just the beginning. So as as you see, I do section from section piece by piece, and I kind of use it as a guideline. And so since I know this was a 13 by 6 parting, I started to go back further so that if she did decide to do something longer with a long part, it'll still her makeup coverage will be full, like all over. some of the Febreze spray on top of the makeup just to make it mold and sit into place and again I'm so sorry I'm all in the way I do apologize but I hope y'all can tell what I'm doing I'm just parting it to her liking y'all look at that y'all can't tell me this don't look realistic y'all cannot tell me to part her hair to her liking we had a mirror in front of us and so she was able to say like yeah Ash, I want some more I definitely want some more to this side look at there honey that was with no plucking Nothing at all, just simply me parting and applying the makeup. I'm just defining the curl. I'm using my fingers, just letting it, you know, taking down some of the curls. Y'all, you don't have to do no plucking with this unit. Not unless you want to. It is basically your preference. If you want to do some plucking, like sis, you can. But it looked great for both of our liking, so we just left it how it was. Now we're going to add a few baby hairs because she was like, boo, you know I want some baby hairs. So I had to give my girl what she wanted. And I'm just using a razor comb, going in a downward slant motion, cutting those baby hairs. And I also used the Got To Be Glue, the gel. I used the black container. That's just what works best for me. But you are able or available to use the yellow one, which one, whichever one is your preference. The black one just worked better for me, so that's what I use when I'm when, when I'm wearing a wig for short-term usage and again she just wanted to wear this wig for like tonight and be able to take it back Happy off and wear it again whenever she chooses to so she didn't want to do the whole like long-term uses but but if you do want to use something ghost bun is definitely a good um bonding glue if you want to lay your wig down for a long term ghost bun would be something that you can look into getting yeah i'm just creating these baby hairs to my liking 
come for me, y'all, definitely comment down below and let me know how I did. But don't come for me. Don't try to put me out. Because I am still new to this. I'm a beginner. I am definitely a beginner with the baby hairs. But I do like them. So I'm still trying them out. And again, we are all beginners in this. So if it's something that you learn, then hey, you know, you take it from me. And if it's something that you don't learn, continue to search for something that you like and what works best for you. You just kind of got to see and practice it and test it out. And that's what I'm doing. So. And don't be scared to use glue. And what I mean, I mean that ghost spun glue that's in that black tube. To put enough on there, put enough product because you definitely want it to stick and to mold down. Even though you're wearing this for a short term, you definitely want it to stick. Oh my God, look at there. Like, I think she's looking great. So I'm going to this other side and I'm going to be doing the exact same thing. I'm going to get the razor comb, cut it down in a downward motion. And go ahead and start laying it down with those bug glue as well. And y'all, if y'all see us clowning in this video, this is one of my best friends. So I'm just being myself. We love each other. We argue. We fight. When we, we you know, we have fun. So you're going to see a lot of laughing in here. for being all in the way and let me just say this cap again does have adjustable straps and combs so if you do have like a bigger head girl you will be just fine you will be just fine i promise you this wig isn't going nowhere and if your head is smaller sis like pull them straps together it ain't gonna go nowhere put the combs in there i know some people aren't fan of combs but if you don't mind the head Put them combs in there. That wig ain't gonna go nowhere. And again, I'm not to my own horn, but I do believe I did pretty good for my first time laying this down on her. I feel like I did pretty good with this unit and with this application. I was just like astonished about the way this look came out i was very 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 pleased with the um final results of this wig and i really think sensational really did a great job from the color to the curl pattern to everything the texture they really did a great job with this piece of work so here i'm gonna go ahead and get my scarf and i'm gonna go ahead and lay those baby hairs down let them sit for about 15 minutes i'm gonna spray her edges with the holding spray just to let it sink down even even more and guys if y'all have a client or if you're doing this on yourself and if you have somebody that can help you definitely hold it down that definitely helps with the mold process of the edges Oh my god that color is just beautiful it really look good on her skin tone my friend definitely picked out this wig and she chose this color i think she did a great job because it brought out her skin tone in my opinion and then i just went over her part with the remaining powder foundation that was um left over on the brush that's normally not the brush i use but that's what i had at the moment and so here i'm just adding some hair wax this is by easy braid i purchased that from a local beauty supply store where i had worked I love it it's one of the very best hair wax that I've ever used and it just basically help with any flyaways that you have at your part it just make it more crisp and everything be at tea so we let that sit for 15 minutes and we're back while we were waiting I had let the hot comb get hot and I'm just gonna go ahead and melt that lace into place guys the hot comb is the secret that is the secret to having a flawless install with your lace frontals, your lace closures, is the hot comb. So if you don't have one and you're a new beginner or you are new to being a hairstylist or anything like that, go ahead and purchase you one. And forgive me, we was having good conversations. If only y'all knew what we were talking about, y'all would have like, y'all look so crazy. Happy. 
y'all But do y'all see how that hot comb is just laying everything down so, so, so flat? And then here I'm just going back with some color spray just to darken up her root a little bit more. This also makes the part look even like crispier, fresh, more into detail. And it's all about details for me. I love a nice solid part. Sometimes I do like the messy look, but I do like the part. Look at that part. Oh my God. I ain't trying to boost me up, but I feel good about that. I really do. So here I'm just going with some mousse and some water. And I'm just kind of de defining this curl. And I know it's synthetic hair, but you can definitely use mousse and water or like a leave-in conditioner. Just if it's curly hair, to just bring it out a little bit more and define that curl to where it even looks like bundles. And look at that. Y'all can't tell me this don't look like bundles. Now y'all comment down below. This look like bundles or what? Let your girl know. And now I'm just defining this hair even more. Like I said, when I do um, take apart the curls, I actually use my fingers. Every once in a while, I hey, used to wide to comb, but I really prefer to use my fingers. And so I'm going to just basically cut those little dry pieces at the end and kind of give it a more layered effect again still using the white tooth comb and y'all look at that y'all y'all let me know let me know in the comments y'all she was so feeling it she was pulling her hair back and flying and laughing this is her afterwards. She looked it great when we went out that night. That is me over there. Yes, honey. So this, this video is coming to an end. Y'all subscribe to the channel and share. Thank you for watching. Bye.